hey guys welcome back so today i'm back with another tutorial this time we are going short right now i'm going to remove the oil and shine off of the natural nail plate so we won't get any lifting when it comes down to applying our acrylic and you want to make sure your speed is as low as possible you don't want to apply too much pressure onto your client's natural nail plate Once that's done, I'm going to dust off the excess dust before applying my tips and then I'm going to add a generous amount at the free edge and apply the tip onto there. You want to make sure your tips fit sidewall to sidewall. You don't want them too big nor too small, but if you can't find a size that fits correctly, then you're going to go with the next size up and then just shape as you go once it comes down to filing. And I also like these tips only because I do waste my good long tips on shorter sets, which is super unnecessary. So I would recommend purchasing shorter tips so you can use them for short sets. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my tip cutter and I'm going to cut the tips to my client's desired length. Now I'm going to go in with that same fine sanding band and I'm going to blend the tips in with my client's natural nail bed so we can have a smooth application when it comes down to laying our acrylic. Alright, so now I'm going to dust off the excess dust and apply my primer. Alright, so now going in with my first bead, I'm going to lay it just above where I placed my tips. And then I'm going to gently pat it into place. Wait for it to form up a little bit before dragging it. You want to make sure you have full control over that bead. And then I'm going to um drag it downwards and i did end up using a thicker bead than usual especially when working with shorter nails you want to make sure you're working with smaller beads but i ended up um flattening it out like towards the end and then i'm going to place my second bead just above that first bead and blend it in with the rest of the nail and that's pretty much it. Usually I just use two beads when working with shorter nails, but I'll sometimes use a small bead towards the cuticle area if I feel like it's needed. I'm also going to use the tip of my brush to clean around the cuticle area. As you guys can see, it was a bit flooded. My bead was runny, but I did end up using the tip of my brush to clean around the cuticle area so we won't get any lifting.
Now going in with my 100 100 grit hand file, I'm going to go in and reshape the nail to my liking. I'm going for a skinny square, but when doing this, I feel like the key to getting the perfect shape is to have that perfect foundation. If you lay your acrylic as smooth as possible and you fit it to how your tips were laid, then you're not going to have too much shaping to do and your shape is going to already be there. So um, I know a lot of people ask me, like, how do you get the perfect shape? Honestly, it comes down to your foundation. But when doing this, you want to make sure you're holding your client's skin down just so you're not um, cutting them with the hand file. Now going in with my fine carbide bit, I'm going to smooth the rest of the nail out and seal around the cuticle area. When doing this, my speed is, I want to say an 8 to a 10. I know you guys are always asking me like what my speed is on when doing this step. I really don't know. Um, I honestly switch the speed from time to time. It's just whatever I'm comfortable with or how thick the nail is.
Now going in with that same 100 grit hand file, I'm going to go in and reshape the nail. All right, so now I'm going to go in and buff the nail out with my buffer just to ensure my application is as smooth as possible when I go in with my gel top coat. Now going in with my no wipe gel top coat, a little goes a long way so you don't have to apply too much, but if you do, you're going to have gel top coat roll over to the side. But either way, I still wipe the sides just to ensure that my shape is still there before curing it under the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with some cuticle oil and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in the next one.